Hello everyone, we hope y'all are doing well out there and staying cool. It's supposed to be getting pretty hot here this weekend from what I understand. And as a result, we will be leaving the South County Seasonal Farmers Market at noon. Uh, we'll be there at 9 a.m. So hurry up and get your stuff as far as that goes before the uh, heat starts to hit us there. Uh, and with that, our website will open up at 8 p.m. on Thursday and close down at 8 p.m. on Friday. And then the Franklin County deliveries will start around 11 a.m. on Saturday. Our products can also be found at these locations. Canada Save a Bit, 24800 Virgil H. Good Highway in Boone's Mill, Melvin's Farm to Fork Store, 1120 Peters Pike Road in Wurtz, Virginia, Mountain View Country Market, 6460 Grassy Hill Road in Boone's Mill, Woods Farms, 2921 Naff Road, also in Boone's Mill. Saturdays at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market. 3565 Electric Road in Roanoke. Also, Sidecar Restaurant. 411 First Street, downtown Roanoke. Well, guys, the garden is kind of taking a toll from the heat and all the heat that we had previously as well. So let's go out here and take a peek and see what's happening. I'll kind of try and show you a little bit about how the lettuce looks. Well, here's a pretty good example of what's happening. If you can see, this was cut off of once, and it's kind of been a little bit of an issue. Let's see if we can find a few more spots that are similar to that. And here's also what happens as we cut. Sometimes it just kills the plant. It's just the way that it goes. All that heat we had earlier on did not help out too much. So some lettuces here that look okay, but there's really not a whole lot in there. Not a whole lot of lettuces on these. And these here, I'm not sure if these have been cut off much at all. They have been a little bit, but not sure how much. But all in all, it's still out here. If we do get it to a really high temperature this weekend, it will probably start looking more like this and even Maybe a little bit more like these right over here. They just grew up in little Christmas trees. Let's head over here to the other tunnel. More transplants through here. And some of the lettuces that are still growing. And as we approach this area, it's more of the same. Just having a hard time handling all the heat. There's a really good example. Just not looking too good. But I haven't really showcased this too much in the past, but uh, now you can see what's happening. Let's head down to the second garden. As you may notice here, we did get some shade cloth on here. This was actually a, a net for a swimming pool to help you get the leaves out of the pool has not been very effective for that in its past but now we're using it as a shade cloth so we'll see if that'll help out with those lettuces well, let's go ahead and walk through here well, you all can see sweet potatoes are looking nice have some of the radish there we should have a little bit of that as a farmer's market peppers are coming along i imagine we'll have a few of those Some aren't looking too pretty, but some are looking very nice. Cruise down through here. We've been working on the Herlequin bugs on this broccolini. Working on that pretty hardcore. Strawberries are just as thick as can be. Ultra, ultra thick. The tomatoes right down through here they're starting to come to life a little bit and that they have room without all those carrots in the way but we do have a few tomatoes on there growing pretty nice looking here we are looking back the other way Transplants and whatnot through here. 
I believe the plan is tomorrow to try and put shade cloth on these to protect these a little bit. Probably water them, put some shade cloth on them, and hopefully that will help alleviate some of the pain from the heat there. All these need to be cropped out. But we do have green beans coming up through here. These are Aroma 2. Aroma 2 bush bean. We have a few that did not come up. But that does happen from time to time. You can also see some more lettuces here that need to be cropped out. So we'll do that whenever we can avoid some of the heat. Well, thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you all soon.